okay which question number 5 out of all these okay third one great i'll do the third one for you any other doubt except question number 5 sub question 3 oh yes sir i have doubt in question number 2 okay which part a third a third one again the third one yes okay anything else no okay so only these two doubts you have right Okay great let me have a look Okay let's first do this question number 2 sub question 3 m raised to 5 into n raised to 3 whole upon m square into n raised to minus 4 okay so let me simplify this by writing m raised to 5 upon m square together times n cube upon n raised to minus 4 separately in a different fraction now i'm going to use a law which states m raised to 5 minus 2 so what what law have i used here a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n you might have uh, studied this these laws with respect to x as a base It doesn't matter. Okay, next, n raised to three minus this minus four will come over here. The same law. I have used the same law in both the steps. So I will simplify this. This will become m cube, and this will become n raised to three plus four. So m cube times n seven. M Raised to three times n raised to seven. Please check the answer, Anushree. Yes, sir. Uh, so it is n cube and n seven. Yeah, so it's correct, right? Yes. Did you understand the method, the steps? Okay, note it down. Okay. Yes. Sir, even I have a doubt. Yeah, yeah. let me first clear her doubt because your book is different Okay. Next is question number five. You said right. Yes. Five sub question three. Sixty-four m raised to minus six n cube. The whole raised to. 2 by 3 now if you notice here the power is in fraction and the denominator of the power is 3 so what we have to do is we have to express all these bases as a power 
ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री पावर ऑफ थ्री और पावर ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री ओके सो आई आई थिंक वी कैन डू दैट इजीली सिक्सटी फोर आई विल राइट इट एज फोर रेज टू थ्री फोर क्यूब इज सिक्सटी फोर एम रेज टू माइनस सिक्स आई विल राइट एज इट इज एन रेज टू थ्री आई विल राइट एज इट इज एंड द होल रेज टू टू बाई थ्री नाउ दिस पावर टू बाई थ्री विल गेट विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड विद द पावर्स ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल बेज एंड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द आइडेंटिटी यूजिंग ए इन टू बी द होल रेस टू एम इज इक्वल टू ए रेस टू एम टाइम्स बी रेस टू एम सो दिस विल बिकम फोर रेस टू थ्री टाइम्स टू बाई थ्री एम रेज टू माइनस सिक्स टाइम्स टू बाई थ्री सो वाई एम आई मल्टीप्लाइंग दैट इज ऑल्सो अ क्वेश्चन वेट देर इज वन मोर लॉ एट यूज ओवर हियर सो आई शो यू दैट वाई एम आई मल्टीप्लाइंग सो दिस इज फोर क्यूब द होल रेज टू टू बाई थ्री टाइम्स एम रेज टू माइनस सिक्स द होल रेज टू टू बाई थ्री टाइम्स एन क्यूब the whole raised to 2 by 3 why did i uh make 2 by 3 the power of each individual terms inside the bracket because of this law a times b the whole raised to m is equal to a raised to m times b raised to m okay so i've got a new power now using a raise to m the whole raise to n is equal to a raise to m times n means if there are two powers they can get multiplied so i will write it as 4 raise to 3 times 2 by 3 m raise to minus 6 times 2 by 3 and n raise to 3 times 2 by 3 3 3 gets cut 3 and minus 2 Uh, 3 and minus 6 get gets cut and I get minus 2 and 3 and 3 gets cut so I get 4 raised to 2 times m raised to minus 4 times n raised to 2 okay now 4 square is 16 n square and this m raised to minus 4 will go down in the denominator and it will become m raised to 4 so this should be the final answer 16 n square upon m raised to 4 just check it please yes but the answer is correct okay so i want you to note it down Can you can you tell me your doubt, please? Kaya, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, please tell me your doubt. Sir, two B first question and the sub question is uh, the fifteenth one. Okay, not two A. You don't have okay. any doubt in two A. Okay, I will do it. Two B fifteenth. Yes, sir. Other all you got? Y yes, sir. Okay, great.
Done. Okay. Exercise two B. Question number one, sub question fifteen, minus three raised to four, minus fourth root of three, the whole raised to zero, times. Minus two raised to five divided by sixty-four raised to two by three. Okay. So we will calculate each of the terms separately. Okay. First, minus three raised to four is how much? It is minus three times minus three times minus three times minus three. Four times, so this will be eighty-one, right? Three threes are nine, nine nines are eighty-one. Minus sign will become plus because there are even number of terms, so minus will become plus. So we have got eighty-one over here. Minus fourth root of three, the whole raised to zero. Now I will not bother even to solve this. I will directly write one. Because anything raised to zero is one, right? We have written down that law. Anything raised to zero is one. Times minus two raised to five. Now what was two raised to five? Two raised to five was thirty-two. Two raised to five is nothing but thirty-two. So what is minus two raised to five? Of course, it has to be. Minus thirty-two divided by sixty-four raised to two by three. I just showed Anushri one question in which there was sixty-four and the power was two by three. So I told that you have to write this sixty-four as a number whose power is three. So three or multiple of three will do. So four raised to three. Four cube is sixty-four. The whole raised to two by three. So eighty-one minus one times sorry minus one. Minus thirty-two divided by four raised to three times two by three. Four raised to three raised to two by three. Four raised to three times two by three, because if you have if you have multiple power raised to a same base, they can multiply. The power can get multiplied. Three three will get cut. So eighty one minus one times minus thirty two divided by four square divided by sixteen. now i have to apply bod mass in bod mass the first uh operation which i do is bracket then off then division there is no bracket there is no off so division will be the primary operation which i will carry out so 81 minus 1 times minus 32 divided by 16 is minus 2 Okay, now I'm going to multiply. So what I'm going to multiply? So if you see, we have eighty-one minus one times minus two. Okay, so I'm I'm not going to disturb eighty-one minus one. I'm going to keep it as it is. Eighty-one minus one times minus two. One times minus two is minus two. So eighty-one plus two. That is eighty-three. If I have not made any mistakes in calculation, then this should be the correct answer. Check. Nice, sir. Great. 
did you understand the steps yes sir and how i use the laws of exponents great you want to note it down please do that so today we are going ahead with this topic and we are going to do some questions which are little bit more difficult and i will be taking your help in doing those you should know what are the laws which have to be used and when they have to be used let me give you few problems okay so the questions which you see over here in exercise uh, i'm going to give a different question let us let us do a question from kya's book so first anushri will try this actually both of you will try but it will be little different from anushri because it's not from her book but i think we can manage Okay the first question Okay I forgot to ask both of you how was your test rational numbers how much did you score i know the marks but still i want to hear it from you the 14 14 out of 25 hmm did you uh, understood where did you make mistake yes sir okay what about anushri i scored 16.5 okay so uh the test was pretty simple i did not give any challenging question all simple questions were there uh but slowly slowly i am going to increase the difficulty level of the tests whichever will be conducted now onwards so here we go the first question this is for both of you uh wait let's let's do like this i'm going to write the question okay i'm going to write the question and uh, let's see who can help me hmm i have a question 8 raised to 4 by 3 Plus twenty five raised to three by two 
minus 1 by 27 the whole raised to minus 2 by 3 chalo anushri please help yes. me here tell me what is the first step which has to be done This is not rational numbers. Okay. You see the power? You see the power yes. here? What is the yes. denominator of the power? 3. Can you express 8 as a number whose power is 3? 8 ko hum kisi number ke cube ke form mein express kar sakte hain kya? Yeah, of course we can. What is 2 cube? 2 into 2 into 2. What is it? 8. Yeah. So, can we write 8 as 2 raised to 3? Yes. And then the whole raised to 4 by 3? You know why we are yes. doing this? Because this denominator in the power will get cut with this power in later stage that's why we have done this same question just now when you asked me the doubt tell me anushri what should be the next step uh, next step is 25 hmm. uh, and 2 yeah uh, so 25 by 2 no not 25 by 2 not 25 by 2 you have to express 25 as a number whose power is 2. Any other number whose square is 25. 25 is whose square? 25 is a square of which number? Five, sir. Exactly. So you have to write 5 uh, raised to 2, the whole raised to 3 by 2. Okay. Sorry, minus sign. Yes, Anushri, what about here? What we will do over here? Uh, so, uh, you have fractions over take denominator and 1 by 27. Do you remember there was one identity which said that uh, A raised to N, sorry, M is equal to 1 upon a raised to minus m or a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. You remember this? Yes, sir. This law. So, you have to apply this law. You have a minus sign in the power. You see that? Yes. You can convert it into plus sign na, by taking the reciprocal of the base. So, what is the reciprocal of 1 by 27? Uh, 27 by 1. Yes. Yeah, so, just write 27 uh, raised to. 27, yeah. Raised uh, to. 27 raised to 2 by 3. That's it. Why 2 by 3? Because the minus sign becomes plus now. Yes. Why? Because we have taken the den, uh, re reciprocal of the base. So, when the base gets reciprocal, the denominator, if it is negative, it becomes positive. Okay, that's the law we are using. Now, tell me, can we use this identity A raised to M raised to N is equal to A raised to M times N? Uh, A raised to M raised to N. Hmm, here yes, you see? Sir. Yeah. Tell me, yes, how should I write? Exactly. Tell me. Two raised to also, three. Two raised to three into four by three. Correct. Plus over here. Plus uh, five. Five base five base to two into three by two. And then minus a seven raised seven. 
नो ट्वेंटी सेवन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज क्यूब ऑफ सम नंबर हुज क्यूब इज ट्वेंटी सेवन नो थ्री नाइन क्यूब इज सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन थ्री क्यूब इज थ्री टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स थ्री दैट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन सो दिस विल बिकम थ्री क्यूब द होल रेस टू टू बाई थ्री ओके ना फर्स्ट टेल मी हियर Anushree, what should I cut? Anything can be cut over here. And first one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, the three will cut three three. So and I'm going. To to Very good. Second one. Uh, five three three. And here. Yeah, correct. So, what is two raised to four? Tell me. Two raised to four. Two into two into two into two four times. How much is it? Sixteen. Plus five cube is how much? Five into five into five. Also one twenty five. And what is three square? Three square is nine. Correct. Tell me what is sixteen plus one twenty five. Minus nine. Can you do that? Yes. Also one thirty two. Okay. Let Let me check the answer. Yeah, it is correct. Did you understand, Anushree, the steps? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. The next question is for Kaya. Kaya, can you help me? Yes, sir. I will zoom in a bit. Kaya, you have to help me with this question. Do you see in front of your screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, sixty-four raised to two by three plus cube root of one twenty-five plus three raised to zero plus one upon two raised to minus five. Plus twenty-seven raised to minus two by three. Times twenty-five by nine raised to minus one by two. Hmm. Tell me. How should we begin? Yes, you are right, because the denominator here is three. We have to express sixty-four as a cube of a number. Whose cube is sixty-four? This is maybe the third or fourth time I am asking the same question. Whose cube is sixty-four? What cube is sixty-four, Kaya? Four cube is sixty-four. 
प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस रेस टू टू बाई थ्री प्लस नाउ यू सी हियर क्यूब रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ यू नो वॉट इज क्यूब रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट द आंसर डू यू नो इट वाई डू यू डोंट नो द क्यूब्स सी आई टेल यू वन क्यूब इज वन टू क्यूब इज एट थ्री क्यूब इज ट्वेंटी सेवन फोर क्यूब इज सिक्सटी फोर फाइव क्यूब इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्स क्यूब इज टू वन सिक्स सेवन क्यूब इज टू फोर्टी थ्री एट क्यूब इज फाइव वन टू एक मिनट सेवन क्यूब इज थ्री फोर्टी थ्री आई थिंक या एट क्यूब इज फाइव वन टू नाइन क्यूब इज सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड टेन क्यूब इज थाउजेंड आई हैपन टू नो इलेवन क्यूब ऑल्सो वन थ्री थ्री वन एंड मे बी ट्वेल्व क्यूब ऑल्सो आई डोंट रिमेंबर सो सी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर क्यूब्स अप टू ट्वेंटी फॉर दिस चैप्टर क्यूब्स अप टू ट्वेंटी इसको लर्न करो नहीं तो बहुत टाइम लगेगा इट्स अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन वॉट इज क्यूब रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ यू नो what so five uh, five uh, that's it that's it that's it five you can directly write the cube root like this no need to do anything else plus 3 raised to 0 how much kya uh, so one okay now what you will do with this 1 upon 2 raised to minus 5 Yeah, and what will it become? Two upon one. Uh... See, one upon. If you have something like this, please note it down. We have already written an uh, a law based on this. You can write it this way also. One upon a raised to minus m is equal to a raised to m. Yeah, a raised to minus m is equal to one upon a raised to m. Right. So one upon two raised to minus five, it becomes two raised to five. That's it. Okay. Plus, tell me now how to solve this. We will express. Remember how to say this. We will express twenty seven as a cube of a number. Okay, whose cube is twenty seven? Whose cube is twenty seven? I just told you. Look here, whose cube is twenty seven? Can you see? Yes, sir. Whose cube is twenty seven? Yeah, so you will write three cube the whole raise to minus two by three times. Now you see over here the power is negative. Yeah. Here also the power was negative, but we don't we didn't do anything immediately. Here the power is negative. We can do something about it. If you don't want to do anything about it, then just express twenty five and nine as a square of a number. Why square? because there is 2 in the denominator of the power so just for that can you do that can you express 25 and 9 both as a square of a number whose square is 25 and whose square is 9 25 kiska square hai kya kya ट्वेंटी फाइव किसका स्क्वायर है मैंने बहुत सिंपल क्वेश्चन पूछा है ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव का स्क्वायर है बेटा और नाइन किसका स्क्वायर है क्या आयु दे कैन यू हेयर मी या क्या या टेल मी हु स्क्वायर इज नाइन
थ्री का स्क्वायर है क्या हो गया किया वॉट एपन टू यू कैन यू ऑन योर कैम आर यू ओके क्या हो गया बेटा आर यू फीलिंग ओके देन वाई आर यू नॉट आंसरिंग सिंपल क्वेश्चन क्या हो गया यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ ब्रेक आई वॉज आई वॉज प्लानिंग नॉट टू कीप एनी क्लास टूडे बट आई थॉट दैट ज्यादा हो जाएगा फिर ऑल दो आई वॉज आई एम नॉट एबल टू बट आई एम स्टिल आई वॉन्ट टू टीच सो प्लीज कम ऑन रेस टू माइनस वन बाई टू चलो यहां पे वॉट लॉ शुड आई यूज मैंने इससे पहले दो क्वेश्चन में ये लॉ यूज किया है मैंने बताया था ये लॉ ए रेस टू एम द होल रेस टू एन पावर के ऊपर पावर है तो क्या करेंगे पावर पावर मल्टीप्लाई ए रेस टू एम टाइम्स एन यहाँ पे मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे ना टेल मी प्लस फाइव प्लस वन प्लस थर्टी टू ओके टू रेस टू फाइव थर्टी टू प्लस थ्री रेस टू थ्री टाइम्स माइनस टू बाई थ्री टाइम्स ये हो जाएगा फाइव बाई थ्री द होल स्क्वेर इन टू माइनस वन बाई टू यू सी वॉट आई डिड मैंने यहाँ पे एक लॉ यूज किया एक एक्सपोनेंट uh, का लॉ a रेस टू m अपॉन b रेस टू m इज इक्वल टू ए अपॉन बी द होल रेस टू m यू रिमेंबर दिस लॉ ये वाला लॉ यूज करके जो टू था ना इनका कॉमन पावर उसको बाहर ले लिया एंड यहाँ पे रेस टू और एक नंबर था दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया नाउ आई कैन सिंप्लीफाई सी दिस थ्री थ्री विल कट आई गेट फोर स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव प्लस वन प्लस थर्टी टू ये भी थ्री थ्री कट जाएगा ये हो जाएगा प्लस थ्री रेस टू माइनस टू टाइम्स ये टू टू कट जाएगा ये हो जाएगा फाइव बाई थ्री रेस टू माइनस वन ठीक है अब देखो रिमेंबर बिफोर यू एड एनीथिंग रिमेंबर देर इज दिस रूल कॉल्ड बॉड मास अब यहाँ पे हर जगह इफ यू सी देर इज एडिशन 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 बट सिर्फ ये वाले दोनों नंबर के बीच में मल्टीप्लीकेशन है सो फर्स्ट यू विल मल्टीप्लाई दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू बट यू कैनॉट मल्टीप्लाई डायरेक्टली सो वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू यू आर गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई दैम फोर स्क्वेयर प्लस फाइव प्लस वन प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस थ्री रेस टू माइनस टू विल बिकम वन अपॉन थ्री स्क्वेयर टाइम्स फाइव बाई थ्री रेस टू माइनस वन विल बिकम थ्री बाय फाइव रेस टू वन ऑफकोर्स ये क्या किया मैंने ये दोनों के पावर को पॉजिटिव बना के रेसिप्रोकल कर दिया नाउ दिस थ्री विल गेट कट विद दिस थ्री स्क्वेयर एंड आई बी लेफ्ट विद थ्री ओनली थ्री हेयर एंड फाइव ओके सो दिस विल बी फोर स्क्वेयर सिक्सटीन प्लस फाइव प्लस वन प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस वन बाय फिफ्टीन Now I can add everything. Sixteen plus six plus thirty-two plus one by fifteen. So we just will add sixteen plus six, twenty-two. Twenty-two plus thirty-two is fifty-four. Fifty-four plus one by fifteen. You can take LCM and simplify and write your answer. What if what will be the final answer? Can you please find and tell me? so we can check so if we have not made any mistake then i think it looks correct you can write it in a mixed fraction also Fifty-four one by fifteen. That's fair enough. Yes, sir. 
no need to do anything about it but i want you to check the answer be uh, anushri this is your book anushri anushri are you there yes yes sir this is question number 14 uh, sub question 2 question number 14 810 by 15 okay and uh, yeah you will convert it into simplest form and then you can convert it into mixed fraction but you will get the same answer uh, so then what is the answer is correct which you wrote 54 1 by 15 is it, is the answer yes sir great great i thought i made any mistake but i was correct kya did you understand Okay, great. So both of you solved one question each. What whatever I gave you. Now I'm going to give a question to both of you, which you will solve on your own, in your notebook. Click click a picture and send it to me. Okay, and I'm going to apply some time limit on this. Okay, so. Where is the stopwatch? Hmm. Great. So I will. Oh, you guys don't see the stopwatch, right? It's okay. It's all right. in zoom that's not available okay great that's available but i did not select that okay i'll give you one question okay the question you guys will solve is Nine raised to zero plus nine raised to minus one minus nine raised to minus two plus nine raised to one by two minus nine raised to minus one by two. And you have. Exactly five minutes. Your time has started. You have to solve this and send it to me on my WhatsApp, which I will check with.
okay five minutes are almost up Okay, I'm checking. Okay, let's bring it here. Anushri, are you done? Uh, yes, uh, only last step is left. Okay.
Anushree, I'm still waiting for your solution. Uh, yes, I'm sending now. Yeah. Okay, let's check. First, we'll check Kaya's answers. Okay, 9 raised to 0 is 1. 9 raised to minus 1 is 1 by 9. Minus 9 raised to minus 2 is 1 upon 9 square, correct. 9 raised to 1 by 2 can be written as 3 raised to 2 raised to 1 by 2, correct. And this also same. 1, 1 by 9, 1 by 81. Uh, 3 raised to 1, which is 3. And this is 3 raised to minus 1. 1, 1 by 9, 1 by 81, this will be 3, minus 3 raised to minus 1, 1, 1 by 9, 1 by 81, 3 by 1 and minus 1 by 3, okay. Now you have taken LCM throughout and LCM is 81, so this is 81, correct, this is 9, this is 1, this is 243 uh, correct and this is uh, 27 okay so 81 plus 9 plus 243 okay 81 plus 9 is 90 90 plus 243 is 333 minus 28 by 81 333 minus 28 is 305 by 81 which is 362 by 81 okay it looks i don't know whether it is uh, is it 362 by 81 k because this uh, 362 by 81 okay just check it and confirm with me yes sir i will uh, check anushree's answer one mm -hmm. what is this the question was nine raised to minus one right hmm. one okay uh, anushree see the first mistake you made anushree this is 9 raised to minus 1. It, you should have written it 1 by 9. You have written it 9. So this is wrong. Yahan pe 9 raised to minus 2. Why did you write it as 3 raised to minus 2? I don't understand this. So this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Hmm, thoda sa dhyan do. Yes, Kaya, did you check? Yes, sir, it's correct. Okay. 362 by 81. So, this question is from your book, Kaya. This is question 2B, exercise 2B, question number 3, sub question 8. Yes. Can you check it? It's correct, did you check it?
ओके गुड सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड अनुश्री ओके ग्रेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव इट फ्रॉम अनुश्री बुक ओके लेट सी या हियर वी हैव सो मेनी नाइस क्वेश्चन okay so we are going to do this question the question is x raised to m plus n times x raised to n plus l times x raised to l plus m the whole upon x raised to m times x raised to n times x raised to l the whole square you have to prove that that is equal to 1 so always when you have to when you do the questions which say show that start with lhs start with lhs left hand side or start with the side which is most complicated i want both of you to note it down because this is one complicated question which many of the students they don't understand how to do this so please note it down okay don't get confused here this is l i will just write here again l x raised to m plus n times x raised to n plus l times x raised to l plus m the whole upon x raised to m times x raised to n times x raised to l the whole square this is your lhs you have to convert your lhs or you have to prove that your lhs is nothing but 1 so that means you need to solve this so how do you solve this see first i am going to take x raised to m plus n okay x raised to m plus n and i'm going to write it as x raised to m upon x raised to n because that's the identity if you remember yaad hai maine bataya tha same identity batayi thi maine hey 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 sorry my mistake my mistake yahan pe multiply aayega because yahan pe plus sign hai isliye yahan pe multiply aayega times x raised to n times x raised to l times x raised to l times x raised to m sab multiplication mein convert ho jayenge the whole raised to x raised to m times x raised to n times x raised to l aur ye kya hai the whole square koi baat nahi ye bhi solve ho jayega now see i have got x raised to m here and x raised to m over here why can't i bring them together i can bring them together mm wait 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 have you noted this down because i don't want you to because i have a easier method i'm sorry for that please cut kar lo usko i'm sorry mere paas ek easy tarika hai tumhe dikh raha hai ki ye sabka jo sabka jo base hai na wo same hai can you see that idhar bhi base x hai yahan bhi x hai yahan bhi x hai you see that to ye sare power ko add kyun nahi kar sakte hum log kar sakte hain x raised to m plus n plus n plus l plus l plus m the whole upon x raised to m plus n plus l kya ho jayega ye x रेस टू टू एम प्लस एक मिनट एक मिनट यहाँ पे द होल रेस टू टू बी है ठीक है x रेस टू टू एम प्लस टू एन प्लस टू एल द होल अपॉन ये टू बी अंदर मल्टीप्लाई हो जाएगा ना सो x रेस टू टू ब्रैकेट m प्लस एन प्लस एल क्योंकि अगर दो पावर है तो दोनों मल्टीप्लाई हो जाते हैं सो दिस इज x रेस टू टू एम प्लस टू एन प्लस टू एल द होल अपॉन एक्स रेस टू टू एम प्लस टू एन प्लस टू एल ये कट जाएगा और आंसर आएगा वन विच इज योर 
RHS. Okay, so this is how you do this kind of question. There are many ways of doing it, but you have to find the simplest way. Okay, I am going to take one more question similar to this. Little different, similar but different. Have you noted it down? Yes, sir. Okay, next question which I want to do is x raised to a plus b the whole raised to a minus b times x raised to b plus c the whole raised to b minus c times x raised to c plus a the whole raised to c minus a what will it give us x raised to a plus b times a minus b times x raised to b plus c times b minus c what identity am i using what i'm doing you know i'm just multiplying the powers x raised to c plus a times c minus a main sirf powers ko multiply kar raha hu ye sab ko multiply kar diya maine theek hai base ko as it is rakh ke aur ye identity kaun si kaun sa law use kiya maine x raised to m the whole raised to n is equal to x raised to m times n bahut baar humne use kiya theek hai Now I would want to know कि तुम्हारा एलजिब्रा कितना अच्छा है तुम्हें पता है a प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी कितना होता है वॉट इज ए प्लस बी टाइम्स ए माइनस बी ये एक एलजिब्रिक आइडेंटिटी है क्या तुमने सेवेंथ में पढ़ी है ये आइडेंटिटी डू यू रिमेंबर इट फ्रॉम क्लास सेवेंथ इट्स ओके इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर आई विल टेल यू सी दिस इज वन आइडेंटिटी फ्रॉम एलजिब्रा ए प्लस बी टाइम्स ए माइनस बी विच इज ए स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर ठीक है वैसे ही बी प्लस सी टाइम्स बी माइनस सी विच इज बी स्क्वेर माइनस सी स्क्वेर प्लीज इसको नोट कर लो एंड सी प्लस ए टाइम्स सी माइनस ए कितना होगा सी स्क्वेर माइनस ए स्क्वेर यह आइडेंटिटी अगर पता है तो काम आसान हो जाता है सो so, यहां पर हम लिखेंगे एक्स रेस टू ए स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर times x raised to b square minus c square times x raised to c square minus a square and then we will add all the powers sare powers ko add kar denge kyun add karenge because you just have a look at the base sabke base same hai aur beech mein multiplication ki sign hai to power kya honge add ho jayenge so i'm going to write it as x raised to a square minus b square plus b square minus c square प्लस सी स्क्वेयर माइनस ए स्क्वेयर यहां तक लिखा सबने क्या हैव यू रिटर्न टिल हियर क्या यू दे यहां तक लिखा क्या ओके अब देखो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ए स्क्वायर और माइनस ए स्क्वायर कट जाएगा माइनस बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर जीरो हो जाएगा माइनस सी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर जीरो हो जाएगा सो यू गेट एक्स रेस टू जीरो एंड एनीथिंग रेस टू जीरो इज वन एनीथिंग रेस टू जीरो इज वन सो दिस इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जिसमें एलजिब्रा की आइडेंटिटीज का भी यूज है और ये पूरा नंबर नहीं है इसमें ये टाइप के क्वेश्चन ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट होते हैं जिसमें नंबर नहीं होते नो नंबर इन दिस ठीक है सो दीज आर लिटिल ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन चलो मैंने दो ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन किए और एक कर लेता हूं तुम लोग के लिए सो दैट वी हैव सम टाइम ये देखो सेम क्वेश्चन यहां भी है यू सी एट्थ का फर्स्ट वाला और उसमें प्रूव करने के लिए बोला है वन सो दीज आर ऑल सिमिलर क्वेश्चन अनुश्री फ्रॉम योर बुक और यहां पर नीचे लिखा भी है यूज अनुश्री डू यू सी दिस 
ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज ए माइनस बी इंटू ए प्लस बी जो हमने यूज किया है यहाँ पे ओके ग्रेट लेट्स लेट्स डू समथिंग डिफरेंट वाओ आई सी अ वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन आई सी अ वेरी एक्सेलेंट क्वेश्चन आई सी देखो मैं तुम्हारे एक्सरसाइजेस से इसलिए सॉल्व कर रहा हूँ बिकॉज तुम जब सॉल्व करोगे ना तुम्हें कोई तकलीफ नहीं आनी चाहिए तुम्हें कोई डाउट नहीं आना चाहिए बिकॉज ऑल द डिफिकल्ट वंस ट्रिकी वंस आई एम सॉल्विंग फॉर यू ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम अनुश्रीज बुक x रेस टू टू एन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स एक्स रेस टू टू एन प्लस वन टाइम्स एन प्लस टू द होल अपॉन एक्स रेस टू थ्री टाइम्स टू एन प्लस वन टाइम्स एक्स रेस टू एन ब्रैकेट टू एन प्लस वन ठीक है इट लुक्स कन्फ्यूजिंग इट्स इट लुक्स वियर्ड डिफिकल्ट बट इट इज नॉट लेट्स फाइंड इट आउट वेदर इट इज सबसे पहले x रेस टू टू एन प्लस थ्री को मैं लिखूंगा एज इट इज टाइम्स इसके जो पावर है यहाँ पे ये मल्टीप्लाई हो जाएंगे इसको मैं मल्टीप्लाई कर दूंगा ठीक है तो I'm sorry. Times x raise to 2n bracket n plus 2 plus 1 bracket n plus 2. The whole upon x raise to 3 bracket 2n plus 1 times x raise to n bracket 2n plus 1. ठीक है मैंने क्या किया है यहाँ पे इन ये पावर को मल्टीप्लाई करके ऐसे लिखा थ्री और टू एन प्लस वन को मल्टीप्लाई करके ऐसे लिखा और ये तो ऑलरेडी मल्टीप्लिकेशन में था ही ठीक है अब मैं सिर्फ सिंप्लीफाई करूंगा इसको देखो कैसे x रेस टू टू एन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स x रेस टू टू एन स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एन प्लस एन प्लस टू देखो टू एन इंटू एन टू एन टाइम्स एन टू एन इंटू एन कितना होता है टू एन स्क्वायर थोड़ा सा एलजिब्रा है इसमें घबराना मत टू एन इंटू एन टू एन स्क्वायर टू एन इंटू टू फोर एन वन इंटू एन एन एंड वन इंटू टू टू ठीक है प्लीज नोट नोट इट डाउन केयरफुल या अगर कुछ भी स्टेप मिस किया ना तुम्हें समझेगा ही नहीं है कैसे आया फिर x रेस टू ये थ्री मल्टीप्लाई कर दो अंदर सिक्स एन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स x रेस टू n को मल्टीप्लाई करो टू एन इंटू एन टू एन स्क्वेर टू एन इंटू वन एन ठीक है प्लस एन अब इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप आता है अब हम क्या करेंगे बिकॉज ये दोनों बेसिस सेम है यू सी द बेसिस आर सेम सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द पावर्स टूगेदर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एड दम I'm going to add the power because there is a multiplication sign. So x raised to 2n plus 3 plus 2n square plus 4n plus n plus 2. नीचे भी सेम. X raised to 6n plus 3 plus 2n square plus n. So x raised to 2n Plus four n plus n. Two n plus four n six n. Six n plus n seven n. Plus two n square. Plus five. The whole upon x raised to two n square plus seven n plus three. 
वाओ ये पांच स्टेप काफी लंबे हो गए अब देखो अब लास्ट स्टेप पे आ चुके हैं सी नाउ एज यू कैन सी देर इज ओनली वन बेज एक्स और उसके पावर्स है अपने पास तो आई कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट द पावर्स Why I can do that? Because I have an identity which says that a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So why not? So ये हो जाएगा x raised to seven n plus two n square plus five minus two n square plus seven n plus three. X raised to seven n. प्लस टू एन स्क्वेयर प्लस फाइव माइनस टू एन स्क्वेयर ब्रैकेट खोल रहा हूँ सारी साइन चेंज होगी माइनस सेवन एन माइनस थ्री प्लस टू एन स्क्वेयर माइनस टू एन स्क्वेयर कट प्लस सेवन एन माइनस सेवन एन कट एंड फाइव माइनस थ्री क्या बचेगा टू सो एक्स रेज टू टू विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर एक्स रेज टू टू अब ये ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन था हमें करना क्या था इसमें ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन में करना था सिंप्लीफाई ठीक है ये मैंने किया इसको सिंप्लीफाई तुम्हारे सामने अब मेरे लिए प्लीज आंसर चेक करो अनुश्री ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर एक्सरसाइज ग्रेट तो इसका कोई एंड नहीं है पता है मैं ये ऐसे क्वेश्चंस इतने सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सकता हूँ बहुत सारे केया केया इन योर बुक देर इज दिस एक्सरसाइज टू बी उसका फोर्टीन का फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन देख फोर्टीन का फर्स्ट मिला No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying just see the question. Okay. Yes. Exercise two B, question number fourteen, sub, sub question one. It's the same question which we just did now. Just see. यहाँ पे X है, तेरी book में A है, और कोई फर्क नहीं है. पूरा का पूरा same question. Same method, सब कुछ same. और answer पीछे check करेगी तो A square होगा. Can you check the answer? Yeah, so all similar questions which we have done are there in your book also. Okay, both the books, in fact. So see what what my homework is now. I consider this chapter to be over from my side. अभी तुम्हें करना है बाकी का काम तुम दोनों को because अभी तो मैं और भी questions solve कर सकता हूँ but then when you try it is going to be a different story. So Anushree. अपने को क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स से करना था ना आगे या सो फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन जितने भी बचे हुए क्वेश्चन है जो मैंने ट्राई नहीं किए वो तुम्हें करना है ठीक है एंड फॉर के आ द सेम थिंग वॉट एवर इज लेफ्ट फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज टू ए एंड टू बी यू हैव टू ट्राई दम ठीक है Yeah, it is. It is on this weekend. That is Saturday or something. Because tomorrow I will not be taking class. Okay, I need some break in between. It's very hectic for me to, uh, you know, take many classes back to back. So I'm going because you have a lot of work. So I'm going to uh, give you this these uh, exercises as homework. and uh you will be having class this weekend but you will be having a test uh that is tomorrow for uh, physics chapter 1 matter theek hai to be prepared for that ye test tumhari main lene wala hu uske liye prepared rehna theek hai yes sir okay then Uh, please do so, the home. Yeah. Will there be a meeting for a test or? Uh, 
no no meeting no meeting what we do is we just send the paper in the whatsapp group and the timing will be written on that also kenzie ma'am will tell the time by which you should submit theek hai so you just submit directly you have to write on your own just tell your parents to supervise and if they are not free then you should be honest theek hai bas utna hi hai baaki kuch nahi theek hai okay then best of luck for tomorrow's test any doubts any time message me and finish your homework and i'll be checking it by this saturday okay sir all right see you